everyone, my name is Balak Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick PS3 API in C++. First of all, you want to make a new file called main, with a new file called... Uh, the fuck? A new file called ps3api.h. Now you want to get your new files, uh, the actual SDK files from the SN Systems folder. Right there, you want to help uh, the PDF for the documentation, and you want to get the binaries. This is the 32 bits DLL and the 64 bits DLL. I'm going to use the 30, 32 bits one. I'm going to paste them in my folder for the API, and now I'm going to make uh, the actual API. First of all, you want to include Windows. That H to load the libraries. Then you want to use a new instance for your hlib called, well, it's gonna load the library. From there you're gonna load the ps3tmapi.dll. Now you want to open up your documentation and we're gonna look for ps3 in a target comes right there for the communications. It returns the SN result if you click on it, you'll see it's a long, so type def long, since um, this function will return a uh, long. You gotta put the name of it, and since this is a type, I'm gonna put underscore t. Now put this in parentheses, with a star, <coughs> then you put in the parameters, which there is no parameters, it's void, it's empty. Then you end this with a semicolon. That's how you declare your functions. Now you're gonna do the same thing, but for connect. PS3 connect. Right there. You're gonna copy it, paste it, underscore T, and you're gonna put in the parameters. First one is hTarget, which is an integer. Then const char pointer like this and it returns a SN result which is a long you're gonna paste it a few times next one is process list first parameter is h target which is integer uh, I'm gonna actually copy paste it first underscore t first one is integer Second one is un32 underscore t pointer. Same for the other one, like this. Now you wanna use, uh, you wanna do process attach to attach the process. First one, um, I'm gonna copy, first of all, underscore t. First parameter is h target, which is an integer, then it's uint32 underscore t and another unsigned integer 32 like this now after attaching you want to continue your process since it will be in a paused state it won't run it won't do anything so you have to continue first first parameter is integer for the target second one is the process id uint32 now after this, you want two functions, process get for get memory, underscore t, first one is int, then it's gonna be a, a uint, uint 32, then uint 64, uint 64, and integer with a unsigned char pointer is the same as byte pointer. Now you're gonna copy this one and delete the last one, and you're gonna do the same thing for set memory. But this one will be a bit different. There's only one parameter changing, the last one. It's const. There you go. 
Now we're gonna have to actually declare our functions and other types. So we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna paste it again. Remove the underscore tdn equals cast the type for in the target comes. And you're gonna call get proc address, get process address. First parameter is your hlib that should declare error. And the next parameter is a string with your function name, like this, with uh, the underscore t. You're gonna do the same thing for every functions. I'm just gonna do this one with you, uh, like this, remove underscore t, copy paste, copy paste, remove the underscore t. You're gonna do it for all of these. I'm gonna stop the video and be back soon. So yeah, that's it. I'm recording. So that's how you do your functions. Get marine, set marine, get some marine, set marine. Uh, take a quick look. That's how you do it. You just copy paste and declare your stuff. <clears throat> so now in your main function, you're gonna include stdio.h and you're gonna include stdlib.h and of course you're gonna include your API int main return 0 I'm gonna put in the arguments even though I don't need them might be useful one day and that's pretty much it I'm gonna make it in C, even though I'm making a C++ file. Uh, I'm gonna use the C lab libraries. Actually, never mind. I'll use IO stream. I'm gonna use the CSTD lib. Like this. Alright. First of all, you wanna do um, the first function in the target comms which returns nothing. Uh, it actually returns something, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm gonna assume everything is gonna work like a perfect world, and it takes no arguments. Then you wanna connect. First parameter is the target, which will always be zero, unless there is many targets in the target manager and you wanna use a different index. But I'll assume you only have one target in your manager, and the name of your application. I'm gonna set it to null, which is zero. Then you wanna call um, process list. I'll look it up on the documentation since I forgot the arguments. All right, this one's tricky a bit. Well, just a little bit. Um, you have to call it twice. First argument is the target, which is zero. Then you have to do a pu count. I'm gonna make two variables, even 32t, pu count, and pu buffer. This one is a pointer, though. I'm gonna put in a pu count, and I'm gonna put a pu. No, actually, it's zero, since they want you to call it with null for the pu buffer at first. I'm gonna be right back soon. No, never mind. I'll keep going. Um, so now you have to call it twice, so copy paste. And now you'll want to um, use malloc, or you can use the new and delete operators for C, but I'm gonna use the C1. You wanna do pu buffer equals malloc. Uh, you wanna cast it as. You know, 32 underscore t pointer for a list and it will be um, pu count times 4. If you look at this, it's a pu count times the size of unsigned integer 32 bits. 32 bits is always 4, so I'm just instead of doing a size of, I'm just gonna put 4. Oh, from there. Oh. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna free it at the end, even though it's kinda useless since the program is freeing itself after leaving. I'm gonna still free it for good practice. 
CPU buffer. Now I'm gonna call process list again. This time with a uh, this time with the PU buffer. Uh, what happened? PU. Holy shit. PU count. So now it's gonna call with the actual count and a buffer which is locked using malloc. After getting the process list, you wanna attach. SN PS3 process attach. First parameter is target, which is zero. Then it's a unit ID. I'll set it to zero for now. And the process ID, which is PU buffer index zero, which is the first process ID. Most of the time it's gonna be the first process ID. If your PS3 is different and using other processes, you'll want to go through them and look at the names or something. But I'll assume there's only one process that we want to look for, and it's the first one. Now I want to look what is unit ID. For CPU, the main PPU unit, it's zero. So I was right. Zero. Now after attaching, you want to continue. I'm going to copy-paste. First parameter is the target, second one is the PID. So the target is always zero, and the PID is PU buffer zero. Now your process is set, like everything's set, you're connected and everything. I'm gonna use the set memory function just to test my stuff. First parameter is the target, which is zero. Second one is the unit, which is the same as process attach zero. Then the PID, PU buffer, zero. The thread, zero, which is the main thread. The address, I love this address, I don't know why. And the count, I'm gonna write uh, four bytes coming from bytes. Right there, I'm gonna do a new variable called unsigned char bytes equals to this one three three seven nine eleven whatever and that shall be working you can compile using any compilers I'm gonna use a uh, G++ which is already installed on my computer G++ main minus O test and everything worked. I'm kind of worried. I'm ballot brand and everything works the first time. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna open up my PS3. I'm gonna start it. And I'm gonna load the uh, Modern Warfare 3. And we're gonna test it. Uh. I'll have to wait a bit. Uh, I want to close my target manager. Alright, it's already closed. I'm gonna go in my process right there. Run 3, run. I'm gonna wait until it's load. Then I'm gonna run test. Alright, it's loaded. I will run test, which just opened up my target manager. If I open up my PS3 is connect right now. Now I want to open up my debugger. I'm gonna go to this address. Uh, well, it's already there since I failed the other tutorial. I'm gonna refresh, and it's actually this. I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna run it again, and it just wrote it. Right there. And it's still running. Everything's fine. It says it's still it's not running right now, like there's a play button, but it's running. 
So everything's working the API. Uh, I'll do the I'll do a get memory. I'm gonna do a unsigned char bytes. That's it. I'm gonna read one byte. I'm gonna cast it. Uh, unsign char pointer. And I'm gonna read from this address. A, B, C, D, E. That's it. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, that's fine. Then I'm gonna print that character. Bytes. Oh yeah, of course. Print is not declared because I'm not using the C lib for this. I'm using C++. Uh, bytes. End line. This should be working now. A, which is the first letter. I'm gonna set it to 5. Why not? Test 5. So read memory works. And everything's still working. So that's pretty much it on how to make your own PS3 API in C++. I will recommend making a wrapper like a namespace or a class. Both are good. Um, so you could actually make it easier to use your class. Well, the whole library. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll make a new tutorial soon on how to load uh, SPRX in-game which Sabotage made a few tools in GTA in the GTA section and stuff. So I'll make my own tutorial on how to load it in-game. So thanks for watching and Plats is my bitch.